Hey, I'm Isaac. Hi, I'm Josh. Hey, I'm Sam, and my brothers and I want to check out what it's like being in the forces. The Defence Forces defend our country, protect our resources, and are a warfighting organisation that uses some of the most advanced technologies in the world. From $600 million warships utilising complex weapon systems to the fastest communication network in the country. Josh, Sam and Isaac will handle technology that isn't seen in the civilian world. Life in the Defence Forces can be exciting and challenging. There are opportunities to work all over the world with deployments in the freezing Antarctic, scorching deserts or humid tropical jungles. But not everyone has what it takes. So the first step is to apply online at defencecareers.mil.nz. In the forces there are over 100 different careers available and in this episode we will look specifically at technician roles in the Army, Air Force and Navy. Morning I'm Isaac. Morning Isaac, JJ Labour, how are you? Good thanks. Master, quick, march! Isaac is at Devonport Naval Base to check out what it's like to be a Marine technician. But first he has to make it past basic training. Basic branch training, the 14 weeks of training. It's all about teaching uh, conformity, discipline, kit maintenance, all those things that people just have no idea about. Personally, I do a lot of rowing. Would, would that help in the Navy? Absolutely, yeah, it's great. I mean, rowing again is that core strength that yeah. we look for in people, but it's also the discipline side of rowing that I like. Yes. These trainees are up at half past five every morning. Leader. Morning, sir. Yeah. Meet, uh, meet Isaac. Um, I'd like for you morning, to morning, uh, Isaac. take him away and give him a bit of drill this morning. OK, then. Brace up. Then what? Squad! Ho! Eight short, sharp movements, Isaac. Head on ice to the right. To the right. The other right. Yes. Oh, oh. Take charge of the weapon. Don't let the weapon take charge of you. Head on ice to the front. Chin's up, Isaac. Get the chin up. Wipe that smile off your face. Put your zip up. Have some pride in your appearance. They've got to un fully understand that they're going to be joining a fully disciplined oh. service, that uh, we have high expectations of these young people when they're going to join. There's a lot for them to learn. The discipline side of it's very strong. The physical side of it's very strong. But they also, prior to joining, they need to know what they want to join, what service and what trade they want to be in. What did I tell you about your zip? Got to have some pride in appearance. I'm not your mother. What this? No! Two, three, move! Oh, that was pretty, uh, pretty scary, eh? Hey? Had to be pretty serious. No mucking around. It's all part of learning, I guess, so... Yeah, it was good. It was good fun. To get to know what it takes to be a marine technician, Isaac has paired up with able marine technician Stephen Williams, who works on the HMNZS Otago. Good morning, sir. This morning. is uh, Isaac. He's here to take a look around the ship. He wants to experience life in the Navy. Good morning, Isaac. I'm Commander Dave McEwen. Welcome on board HMS Otago. Thank you. Would you like to have a look around? Indeed. So, Isaac, uh, Otago is in uh, quite an extended and intense period of maintenance. It involves a lot of uh, work in uh, pulling apart the ship, putting in new capability, getting us prepared to go back to sea, which in fact we'll do in about uh, 10 days' time. So, how do marine technicians fit into the operation of the ship? They keep the engines and generators going. But when it comes to the marine technicians, uh, I have nothing but admiration. They are critical to the way the ship operates. So what's involved in a general day-to-day -day role? Day-to-day -day basis, it could be a large range of things. You know, we're responsible for fixing, say, this air conditioning unit here. The lighting circuits, that door, if the hinges came loose, would be the ones to fix that. So, yeah, we cover a vast range of things. So this is the MCR, this is the main control room. It's really the heart of the ship as far as the technical side of things go. From here we can sort of control and monitor most of the machinery on board the ship. We've also got the switchboard, that's how we sort of control all of our power distribution. So um, how do you know when to maintain it? Like when, when do you do it? We have a process called FIMS. So on here we have a list of uh, most of the machinery on board. When maintenance is due on it, a job will come up and uh, trigger like this one here. This is an engine room supply fan. So um, I'll just print off the job ticket and then we'll go get stuck into it. Sounds good. My job's sort of my dream job. Um, I get to pull stuff to bits every day, all day, fix stuff, and I get to travel, and I get paid for it, so it, it's great. Yeah. Air comes in through those vents and gets pushed down through here, creating a uh, positive pressure in the engine room. Yep. 
first thing we're going to test is to make sure that all the phases are dead and we're not going to get an electric shock. Yeah. Because uh, it's 440 volts and should fry it. <laughs> and then we're going to test the insulation between the windings. Yeah. Multimeter. Multimeter is what we need. What's the benefits about getting trained in the Navy? It's getting to work with you know, really cool equipment. We get some really cool stuff. One of the coolest things about training with Royal New Zealand Navy is you get to work with such awesome ships. You know, and it's just something that you wouldn't get to do in a civilian environment. You don't get to play with the cool stuff that we get to play with. Land helicopters on the deck, you know, every other day. And, you know, you don't come across a ship with a gas turbine strapped to the centre of it. And they definitely don't have six inch cannons strapped on the front of them. <laughs> We're just taking off the uh, phasing so that we can test inside the motor to make sure that none of the windings have corroded and are leaking voltage, if you like, to the ship's hull. It makes it dangerous. This whole outside housing could be electrified, so if somebody was to touch it, they'd get a zap. Shit. So as you can see, this uh, terminal's just broken off on me. Because when it was done up last, it was done up too tight, so um, this bolt has been cracked. The whole bolt's just broken. Yeah, it'll, it'll... Have to replace that one. Yeah, we'll definitely be replacing that one. It's sort of, you know, one of the key things that we're looking for when we're doing this routine maintenance, you know. If that had happened to have uh, popped off, you know, while we're at sea, it cause a drop in pressure in the compartment, which can actually cause the main engines to blow seals out. Okay. So, um... From one little snap From one little tiny bit. snap bolt like that, it can affect so many other systems and, you know, create huge faults and throughout the ship. Well, it's good you picked it up then today. Absolutely. Luckily, this near miss is easy to fix. All right, Isaac, so now that we've got that all back together and uh, fixed that fault, we'll uh, go and test it, make sure it is working. Get out of here. While testing the extraction fan, Stephen gets caught up in a situation that will test the entire crew's ability. It's a fire. One, Charlie, one. Officers, One Charlie Zulu, one laundry, smoke, and one Charlie Zulu, one laundry. Five pumps running? Five pumps running, ma'am. Five pumps running. 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 Five toxic gas leak right up to abandoning ship. On a day-to-day -day basis, we'd do at least one of these exercises a day. Casualty, 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 casualty in one Delta passageway. Do these exercises, we obviously train as if it was a real situation, so even though you know it's an exercise, it's still, you know, an instant rush of adrenaline, and you're there, and you get your suit on, and, you know, you're rushing, you're running down hallways and stuff like that, and that's quite a thrill. I quite enjoy it, personally. The aims of today's exercise have been met. Therefore, end of exercise, end of exercise, end of exercise. Return and stow all gear. There'll be a debrief for all personnel involved in today's exercise at the scene in 05 minutes time. So, as you can see, it simulates quite a realistic fire. Shut that door, sorry. Yeah, come through. Got to prevent the smoke from spreading around the compartments. So, Isaac, now we're going to head up to um, Ordinary Marine Technician Woods promotion. He's getting promoted from an ordinary rate to an able rate. Marine Technician Woods promotion gives him deserved recognition in front of the ship's company. Ship's company, stand at base. For me, being in the Royal New Zealand Navy, I get a you know good sense of pride. You really feel like you're actually doing something. You're making a difference, and you're serving your country. And New Zealand's people are grateful for it. So you get told that everywhere that you go. Um, for example, when I was in Christchurch for the Christchurch disaster relief, you know we had church groups bring around cakes and biscuits and stuff at sort of, you know, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, so, I don't know, just seeing stuff like that, it, it's really cool. So, as, a, as you can see, you know, us marine technicians, we keep the whole ship going, some of the most advanced, biggest sort of Navy uh, equipment in New Zealand. Without us, the ship doesn't sail. Awesome. Thank you very much, Steve. I enjoyed it. Isaac's uh, very inquisitive, he's got a keen eye, um, asks lots of questions. He's obviously got a very keen sort of interest in the Navy and the technical side of things. Um, yeah, hope to see him here in the future. To be a Marine Technician in the Navy, you must be 17 years or older, medically fit for service, of good character, a New Zealand citizen, and have completed at least three years at secondary school. Upon enlistment, you will complete a 13-week basic military training course. The Navy meets all costs of job training, 
Training is concluded in the first four years of a marine technician's career.